Welcome back to a complete deep dive on VO3. And my name is Pritam. I talk about AI and this is my channel. And in case you are interested about agentic AI, I recently gave a TED talk and I can pin it that in right in the description. So you can have a look on agentic AI and agent space on Google Cloud. And also I'm writing a book on demystifying generative AI for everyday common people with VO3 and how to get started. Now the future is here, just not knocking but it just kicked down the door for everyone. So no expensive equipments, no more steep learning curves, no more spending hours on a single shot because Google just dropped a bombshell that fundamentally will change how we create, consume, and even think about the video forever. This is just not an update. It's a revolution. And if you don't understand it, you are going to be left behind. So let me remind what is VO3. Hey, in case you have not seen my earlier video on VO3, how to get started, do check the description below. There is a link to my YouTube video on VO3 and how to get started and explaining different variants of VO, like VO3 fast, which is the recent version, and VO3. So what exactly is VO? So simply put, it's Google answer to ultimate creative challenge in layman terms, right? Turning your imaginations directly into high fidelity video and into reality. While either other AI models might have dabbed, VO3 takes it entirely into a completely new level, unparalleled context of understanding complex prompt, fluid motion, consistent character generation, and almost entire cinematic style quality videos. So it's basically a state of art model from Google where anyone can design and empower even the filmmakers or storytellers and, and lets you add sound effects, ambient noise, and even dialogue to your creations, generating all the audio native. You don't have to do any more lip syncing of audio separately and video separately. Even VO2 had the challenge, but that is now solved with VO3. It delivers best in class quality, excellent in realism, physics, and completely prompt adherence. Let me highlight a few pointers, which you see in the screen. Let's talk about the safety filters first, right? This is my, uh, so it helps you get started on the safety filters. Basically you control what filters you want to adapt. And this is built right in built from the ground up. Uh, like if you want to allow the images for kids, uh, adults and all those things. The second most attractive feature about this VO3 is Synth ID. And Synth ID is nothing but your visible watermark to protect you from all legal issues and challenges, right? It is your video, you generated it, and you can use it seamlessly for your uh, marketing or any other use case you want to do it. Right? Also the copyright identification, right? It is built and our users and customers love about it. And the high visual appeal, that's one of the key features. Advanced camera controls and high prompt adherence, right? Prompt adherence is one of the key features uh, which helps you to stick whatever is being asked to the, as a prompt, uh, you can get it rewritten as well and give you the exact output. Even you can give negative prompts, especially if you want to omit some part of that I'm talking about. So it offers you two things out of the box. Uh, as I said in the last video, text to video is already there in the public preview. That means no allow listing required. You can directly go into the demo uh, console or Google Cloud console rather. The other one, image to video, uh, if there is a time, we will see on that. It's in private preview, very rapid space, right? So I talked about text to video, image to video, the style and mood control, object and character consistency, and let's not forget the ultra high fidelity. So these are the few things which differentiates VO from other tools which you might have seen. So let's do one thing before I move into the demo and let's my Vertex AI platform and give you some context, right? So there are different ways you can get started on VO3. Go with AI Studio. Uh, you will have to check depending on the usage whether you have access to VO3 or the older version of VO that is VO2 and VO1. So that's one thing. Other thing is you can go with Flow, Google's tool, where you can add side-by-side uh, -side frames of the video and, and make a lengthy a shot or a, or a movie or clip or something like that. So Flow is a free tool from Google DeepMind. Again, uh, you can easily Google it, but don't worry. I will leave uh, the link to that where you can stitch the frames together for videos more than eight seconds because VO3 and VO2 and the earlier version of VO gives you a video length of max of eight seconds at this point of time. So let me show you a few demos and clips. So don't worry about the prompts. So this is there and just have a look, right? So when you go to the console, cloud.google.com, 
uh, console.cloud.google.com rather, you will see this option. So the preview is the one, uh, is the primarily one talking about uh, if you want, especially for image to video, but we are talking about text to video. So we'll go for VO3, which is the fast model, uh, which is the uh, the higher end model. You also have option for VO3 fast and the length and the other parameters 108p or 720p. For this demo, I'll keep it out on 720p and generate audio out of the box, right? So let's get this with prompt and understand. So this prompt highlights a clear golden puppy chasing a red ball. We'll go for more complex demos as well. And I will pin it down in the my uh, description section where you can get started, right? right? So here you see the output. Let's play that out. Watch this. The fur texture, the natural movement, my, the lighting. It's just incredible. Watch this. The fur texture, the natural movement, the lighting. It's just incredible. Imagine needing stock footage. Not anymore. So that was the cool little video of a puppy, right? Let's move on to something more interesting. So let me omit this. So this prompt talks about uh, old sailor. His knitted blue sailor uh, hat casting a shadow over his eyes. Thick gray beards is holding his pipe in his one hand, gesturing towards the gray sea uh, and the ships railing, right? And of course, the ocean in the background. So let's see the output. Again, it takes time. So what I did was, but to interest of saving time for this uh, recording, what I did was I may have switched from VO3 to VO3 fast to make it more fast, right? And again, you can control the number of outputs you want, the 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 ways you want. But uh, trust me, these are some of the exciting uh, things which you don't want to miss on, especially if you're coming from storytelling background or a content creation background. So that's the the power of VO3, right? So let's now see. It has come very fast. This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. So that was one of the prompt. So what we can do is, and let's hear the other prompt output. This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. Yeah. So what you have done with just a simple prompt, and you can even enhance this prompt, right? In case you want more better output or something like that depending on the choice. You need to keep experimenting on that. So detective interrogates a nervous looking rubber duck where you are on the night bubble bath. And let's see what the output comes in. It's slightly on the lighter note. So we'll move on to something else as well. And probably in the end, I would like to show you something on getting started from text to video as well. Just a simple prompt. Let's see how that goes. So here you go. The output has generated. Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? So you can generate cartoons, right? So that's quite interesting. So let me go to something else, one more prompt. Me, It can go on, you can start playing and create a... Uh... So this prompt, let me sense you what it is coming up. Uh, so it talks about rural Ireland, right? Two women, the long hairs, right? And going around the strong coastal wind. Let's see. And don't worry about the prompts. I will give you in the description. But also do check out uh, Google DeepMind's videos. There are a lot more prompts there where you can try and experiment, probably change a few things here and there to get an output for your uh, requirement. Right? So let's wait for the output to come. So here you go. The output has come. You can see the wowness and the and the ambient. Everything is right away. So let me start the other video. So let me move on to the last one example I have been talking about. So let me move to the preview one first and try to think of uh, image to video, right? The one which I've been talking about. So let me move this and try to upload an image. Let's see what's the outcome comes like. It does take a few time, just hold on. So here you go. You have this view. 
So it gives you a 360 degree view of the jewelry earring here, right? Isn't that wow factor? Okay, right now we have come to the end of this video and do keep, keep checking out my videos on, on Genetive AI, Gemini and the other tools which I talk about and let's get our hands dirty and get started because it's about AI for everyone.